Hello and welcome to this series, the series that I wanted to do the most lately. Um, Baldur's Gate 3 became easily my favorite game in a long time. And I really, really wanted to have this on like on the channel and that. And this is going to be pretty, pretty long series. It's going to be long because I, I do want to um, show as many things as I can uh, try to not miss anything. And I'm going to be talking about the lore. I'm going to try to get uh, references to the previous games, although I don't know uh, basically anything about them. Uh, I've been like watching a lot of stuff uh, when it comes to lore and that. So, yeah, hopefully I can get a reference or two. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. Right. So I'm not gonna go crazy with difficulty or anything for recording's sake more than anything. It's already gonna be a long, long series. Very well then, um, the Dark Urge is something that I haven't done yet, I only had my first playthrough, uh, just recently finished it, so yeah, I, I wanted to do the Dark Urge, and I know what you're gonna be thinking now, it's uh, another Drow, but the thing is I, didn't, I haven't played with the Drow, and as I say, I don't... I don't play this type of games usually. This is my first game that is like this. And when I realize um, that you get so much different things to happen in regards to your attributes and that was pretty cool. And I really want to try the draw. Um, so, and I'm gonna go for a paladin. Uh, for this series, I want to do something like um, like a paladin trying to do good, but every now and then, kind of being subdued to the dark urge, if you know what I mean. So that like a little bit of a, a roleplay feat, uh, for that matter. The Oath of Vengeance. You have set aside even your own purity to right wrongs and deliver justice to those who have committed the most grievous sins. So there you go. And this one is a spe uh, it's a specific for the Dark Urge, I think. I'm not entirely, yeah. Mm, something I want to do here, it's... Um, Take one from Dex. 
and one from um, Constitution, and I'm gonna put that on Charisma. Uh, strength's gonna be 18 anyway. So, yeah, Strength, Charisma. And yes, I'm aware of the memes, but you are about to to see yet another female drow. So let's see. They use the scream, dude. <laughs> The Githyankis are really fucking cool.
Right. The blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. So this is how uh, you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. So the memory loss is a thing only for the dark courage, it seems. Uh, so your name out uh, aloud by yourself. So yeah, it's a, it's a dark urge thing. The dark urge. Whatever that is, that is you. You will claw back the truth. But first, you have to claw your way out of here. Oh, you see, you know, I call, as you can see down there, the back urge. It's um, basically an inside joke on with my Twitch friends. Uh, lately, they've been calling me back, and it's it's kind of, yeah, it's an, it's an inside joke, I guess. Right. So I w actually want to discuss a few things, but I don't think I will have the time uh, right now because uh, you know, it's the introduction of your things gonna happen, but we'll get to that. A schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. A thousand years of humanoid history, elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Right, so this is the first save. I have to. S I don't think I really have to do it, but I do want to to get this right. So you know, just gonna, gonna make a little save here. Release us. in expectation please before they return they return so uh, yeah who am I talking man or brain a newborn born new from this husk you realize you're talking to an intellect devourer a minion of the mind flayers who abducted you Uh, yeah, tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. So... Destroy the rain. You see that? Uh, for that coach. Let's get it all. Plus three on strength. Damn. The brain lifts from the skull, but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient should it prove a threat. Your fingers twitch with the desire to rip its tender, moist <laughs> meat to shreds. Imagine a brain full of holes, a brain like your own, that's... <laughs> yep. Well, it's if it's 15, it's a lot, actually. Oh, 
Oh, we got it. It's fine. The creature seems unaware of your interference. It relaxes in your hands. Pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. But the helm, we are needed. Yep, let's go. No, nothing really to, to talk about there. We are going to the helm. First companion. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. That's the introduction you saw. We escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. So yeah, I think it's in within in, in within seven days. Uh, apparently, I'm not entirely sure. So yeah. We are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. He's the heart of the team. So yeah, first comma, you see, uh, this is like introduction tutorial thing. have the reach there yeah we're gonna check everything around just so see if I could get a uh, crossbow really just in case for early and that there you are so yeah I wanted to talk about the uh, the Githyankis because they're really uh, they're really cool the plug of a warrior and that so they know there is a Githyanki in here, but they are not trying to save her. They, they just uh, they just want to take the ship down, you know. That that's the level. Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. That dialogue actually refers to to that. Gay machinery. I 
can make no sense of it. So yeah, here, if you touch the one on the left, they die. Just so you know. I'll be searching everything around. So we'll come for that. Need to find like uh, the way to get her out. Then well, I'm gonna pick this thing up because I do want to um, to kill the commander in order to get the sword. Uh, I think it's uh, that'd be pretty uh, cool. Faint images appear in your mind: a brain, a get Yankee warrior, and centuries of darkness. A little bit of lore and whatnot. Ambience. It's the golden key. How many hosts of these gay infected? So this is the this is what we need to free her. The Eldritch rune. You can see the, the mission changes right there. You'll see what I why I picked that up. It's something I never did in my first playthrough. I I, I wouldn't have guessed it whatsoever, and then a, a friend of mine actually showed me. Uh, so this is what the golden key was for, and... Got that as well. The console appears dormant. There's a circuit in the console shaped like the rune. So this is the um, the mind player uh, worm. It's a pretty safe role, as you can see, because we are, we are supposed to do it basically. You can still get a one by the way. Of the console, your and to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Oh yeah, and by the way. I have no knowledge whatsoever about Dungeons and Dragons, so if at some point I get some concept uh, wrong or something, feel free to comment that. There she is. So yeah, a little bit of tension there. Uh, dangerous company is what you need in a fight. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. <laughs> I am the bug. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna be seeing that all the time now. So yeah, let's go. The pack, man. <laughs> what is that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. 
There we go. So just to check that I haven't missed anything. Apologies for the cut. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kenyank. Uh, yeah, apologies for the cut. I was just um, running around trying to see if I missed anything. So yeah, I don't know if they might have patched Enough this or, or anything, but blood. my friend showed me this after I, I played this game already. So, oh my god. I've got a long road ahead. All right then. So, uh, something I can do it's uh, basically put this thing that I picked up, put it here. So when reinforcements come, they cannot pass. Or uh, I think that's how it works. Got no idea to be honest. There we go, this is the fight. Uh, he makes big damage. And I didn't... I didn't win this fight my first playthrough. Um, I was playing on Tactician, but... Yeah, I did the whole run, run through here and make that, make sure that you press that uh, situation. Um, yeah, I guess the idea is kind of to heal the mind player. Uh, meanwhile, try to to kill the other guy. I want to try to make it here uh, so t so you can pick up those two things. Can't even catch my breath. Oh yeah. This is what I forgot about. Uh, it's, it doesn't work anymore. Like that's the reason I picked it up. So yeah, it'll have to be for the ne next turn and whatnot. I'm gonna try to. Uh, oh, yeah, and I also didn't change um, her spells. What a way to start.
I don't think this guy can... I don't think this guy has two moves. If I'm honest. Yeah, no, he doesn't. I usually wonder how someone who plays this this type of game feels to see me play like on console and anyway. <laughs> Must be weird. Another fight. Let's go. Death won't take me yet. They are gonna keep using the heals. Mm. Right, so that that's uh, what these things were for <laughs> when I make him blow. See if it works. Uh, when well, those guys fly, it shouldn't work, to be honest. But yeah, I don't know. Just uh, gonna make sure that he can handle one more strike. Which I don't think, I don't know if it's enough, to be honest. Mm, maybe I should do the same uh, here. So yeah, that should be enough. And I'm just gonna back off. Be true. What now? So yeah, but only they cannot get in. That's funny. So yeah, I don't know if that's enough damage of the HP he's got, but let's uh let's check it out. Oh, he's 1 HP, lol. Imagine missing this one. <laughs> Still on my feet. Oh, uh, come on. Time for come on, don't be joking. <laughs> there you are. And... Make it that sword. Ever, uh, ever burn blade? Oh my god, I can't... I cannot speak English. But yeah, now we only want to uh, get to the... 
over there where we connect the nerves. Basically. As you can see it got pretty easy with that. Well it's uh it's a normal difficulty. I remember struggling a lot in tactician. Yeah, just as, f uh, as further away as you can. Let's see. Hurry before they strike. Let's get moving a little more out of the fire. I don't really need to fight this, uh, this guys. Just, uh, just need to get there here. <laughs> that is funny, dude. That. <laughs> it surprises me, like it hasn't been like patch or anything. Maybe just like part of the game. This guy beside me, yeah. Also, cannot reach there. I don't think I ever seen the cinematic uh, with uh, Shadowheart, to be honest.
All right. half expected your memories to return once you were free of the mind flayer ship but your past is still an aching void if you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon your future will be as blank as your past your head whispers vengeance you cannot wait to slice your way forth seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you damn in the pungent corpse since you awoke on the ship your mind has been cold and empty but something stirs with your hands close to this body you know nothing of why but you find a half are you like it that okay across your face so you like it because uh you, you see the corpse and you get like excited and whatnot mm. I mean, we can try that. It's not gonna be good. Try to remember the last time you stood above uh, above a corpse. Minus one. Ah. Let's see. As soon as you delve into your mind, it is filled with flashes of a thousand different days. A thousand. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart so the little and nothing that i know of the other Baldur's Gate games and lore it's that basically Dark Urge is um, one of the many sons of Baal right because uh, the god of murder uh, did try to be reincarnated through many um, mortals right all over the world and they will be killing each other uh, as they succumb to the dark urge sort of thing um, as I said earlier anything that I get wrong let me know in the comments but yeah that's pretty much like the gist of it uh, supposedly the dark urge is uh, it's a son of Baal a daughter right yeah here's Shadowheart So, yep, wake her. Mm. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? Mm, I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. The nothing. Yeah, something something did save us as you uh, as you did see. Uh, now what? First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Ah, uh, we. You want to stay together? We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Yep. Let's get moving. So there we go. Just before we go, I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Very well. But yeah, maybe at some point, um, lore videos should be like. Uh, something I might consider. So I'm gonna make sure to pick everything up. Uh, so yeah, those recipe unlock things, it's uh, for the alchemy stuff. 
uh, which I'm gonna get into it because I did most of my first playthrough without knowing what that does. <laughs> so yeah, it's been, it's gonna be it's gonna be cool because I'm gonna be able to Fresh do things water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. that I didn't know I could. And I probably have to disable the, um, the tutorials. Kind of annoying. So uh, this series is really long already, or it's gonna be very long. So I'm not gonna be reading this uh, like on the video. However, I'm gonna be showing it like this, so you can feel free to pause. Might be reading a few things that are important for like the story uh, of the character and whatnot. Uh, yeah, there's this one. Well, I'm not gonna be like uh, reading everything probably just for rec uh, gameplay sake. And we get slow with the water, by the way. I I am assuming that uh, most of the people that would get to watch this uh, already know about the game or have played. But you know, it doesn't hurt to to address some things either way. So as you saw there, we got a uh, little tutorial thing regarding uh, alchemy. And this is our first uh, TP. So, you got the alchemy pouch, camp supply, all things, uh, like the food for example goes there, and here, the plants we just collected. So you can go to your thing in Alchemist on extracts. It says there extract all ingredients. We got one. So this I never did in my first playthrough, like only towards the end. Uh yeah, I didn't even pay attention to that, to be honest. But you know, you see. We get to uh we now know the potion of mind reading because of that. We got this thing and we need that one. And we can we can make that. Mine's yeah. Never quiet. Mm. So, I want to have I want to do like a uh, two-handed big weapon sort of situation. Uh, so you got this one protection no because I don't want to be like shielding or tanking mm, mainly mainly but in any case this one is the best one because it gives you plus one all the time meanwhile uh, these things are kind of situational regarding the weapons that change and whatnot so I think I'll take the the healing and the bless off. This is what I should have done uh, before before fighting, before our first fight with the general. I'm gonna get searing smite, this one smite, and that one. And I'm, for that, I'm going to take this off. I think. Hmm. Well, I can just put this one, I think. Mm, so for the card, once again, I was reading. I don't really know this by memory or anything. There's that. And I should have changed uh, a couple of things for Shadowheart as well. So... I think this one is not really good. If I'm completely honest. I'll put the bless on her. 
Yeah, that one. Why not? Um, we can change that at any time, really. So there's that. Uh, as you can see, that's the vision range. Little little guys that are up there. I wonder if I can like. Sort of things I wonder if this way I make like more damage uh, because they're not seeing me cutting to the chase ah! yep So yeah, they last more than... It's kind of weird because uh, <laughs> so early. There's 17 HP on level 2, it's, uh, it's kind of weird. But yeah, should be fine. We can only, uh, we can only got um, these two. Just checking out the stuff I got. Yeah, that's some that's some damage. Let me see. Well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. These things uh I wouldn't assume they got anything inside, yeah. Radio. Uh, maybe I maybe I can pick this up. Why not? We can do something with that. Could be funny. That's my player. I'm burning myself. Saving tools. Loot. So yeah, this one you're gonna open. You could use the like the, the thieving tool, but honestly you can just uh, do this. How's that for a roll? Wait, was that it? Yeah. So yeah, all of these things we do want to pick up. Well, at least I want. I think.
and we're gonna meet our next companion over there you can see him but before we're gonna gonna go around here see recipe unlock nice and actually gonna do one of these because uh, quite a lot of health that we're missing there so You know where I'm going. It's uh, it's that rock over there. That looks weird. Gonna save it here. Just because it's a weird throw. I don't really remember what it's based on. And we want the little thingy. Whatever it is. It's a nature. There it is. So. For the ones that want to read, there is a uh, collection of reports held together with a moon and harp seal. There is a frequent mention of sacrilegious activity among a local Selenite sect. I'm pretty sure I butchered a lot of those words. I uh, apologize. Oh, let's see this. This stained, racked map has passed uh, through countless hands. A little harp marks an area called Moonrise Towers with a small inky crescent sketch in nearby forest below the crescent is a more recent scroll Keche. well that's uh as you can see now in the map we got this thing uh, it's a little th little secret little treasure i don't know yeah we, we want to go over there because he's uh asking for help right I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Ah, man. Easily. Stand back. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is going to be like the attitude of the character, more, most likely. We're going to go that way. There. Can you see it? If you want to keep that done, fail the perception the check there. And you keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. I need her alive. Stow that blade, or I'll show you just how messy things can get. <laughs> promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. Yep. Splendid. And now you're going to tell me exactly what you and those tentacle freaks did to me. So. And your foe. Uh, well, yeah, this is the truth. Uh, they took me prisoner just like you. Don't lie to me. I. Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. Uh, what was that? What's going on? Yeah, we could try that, but now let's uh, let's go with that. You, not one of them. They took you. Just the same as me. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Um, can't blame you. I was looking forward to seeing you. I don't remember this. <laughs> <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. 
I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. He's a good character, by the way. It's really good. Uh, <laughs> the bag. Oh my god. Your ruined brain. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna with that. My my, you've been busy. So, did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? Yeah, they turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into. <laughs> of course, it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Troll it. Um, yeah, join. You know, Another party I member. I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And anyone that can crash a mind flare ship and walk away seems like a good person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind dances with thoughts of a perfect, pretty court. Damn. So, yeah, this is the reason why I wanted to do the Dark Urge. Uh, I don't know, it just seems. Uh, because. I'm not the usual person that does like evil playthrough and whatnot. It, I actually find it kind of boring. Uh, pretty boring. So yeah, he's a rogue. Uh, so everything, hide, dash, disengage. It's con in action. So it's basically an enhancement. Well, the same thing but better, basically. How many die today? How many die tomorrow? So we'll get through this. A mind flare. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel... Compassion. 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 So, give in to the emotion, decision right, step away. Uh, no, you should be furious. But, uh... You can't move, can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. So this is fun. Intelligence check. Uh, I mean, roll. This, uh, I got a minus one, right? So I wonder if I can do this thing. Yeah. This is something else that I was pretty far into the game when I <laughs> I knew I could do this uh, so our guy, our character it's in the cinematic dialogue thing but we can do this now we can just select someone else and stay here mind you, I didn't know about that to be honest but yeah, back to the back to the matters I had I want to do this uh, this throw I'm not doing saves or anything, uh, but I'm gonna do some. Uh, this is a perfect moment to explain it. I'm gonna do some saves, uh, but mostly I want to th want things to just happen. You know what I mean? So let's try that with minus one. Oh, I'm being lucky today. I I'm usually not that lucky. Your mind's views, lusting for something that is. On. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. 
It needs sustenance to survive. And with your very body, you can provide. Submit to the feeling, lean in as for a kiss. And a wisdom throw. This is the intrusion with everything you got, everything you have. That's, uh, that's not bad. This game is being nice to me, it's concerning. The, with, the, with the dice rolls. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close your eyes uh, forever. You have to die slowly. No, 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 no. There you go. <laughs> Very well then. Death is too good for it. Yeah, but I was uh, in this play. Being here, I wouldn't like to leave him alive. Just in case. Is this the TP? Or is, uh, is that what I think it is? Dead goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. The black pack. And this is what I wanted to come. What's going on with that room? So, yeah, probably the vast majority of you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Touch the sigil. Right, <laughs> so we just came out of um, a distress situation, you know, and we've been doing the right thing so far, as far as I'm aware. And this is what I was uh, going for with this uh, playthrough, so we are paladin, we are trying to be good, you know. But every now and then, for role playing sake, we are gonna uh, fall into the darkers, right? So fantasize about hacking off the hand this branch of flesh face. is begging to be pruned and it's sap sucked from <laughs> the face as soon as the dreams cross the threshold of your imagination you snap back to realize they have all come true. Snap back. Ah. You were supposed to lend a hand, not take one. Joy floods <laughs> through you. You were dazed on the Nautiloid, but now you are truly awake. Alive. Damn. <laughs> oh, that is... Lost something. I wonder if uh spasm whoa. grips your chest. Your strength falters. An emptiness grows within you, Paladin. Something has been lost. You've broken your oath, Paladin. At the close of day, I will be waiting for you. We have much to discuss. Okay. See, I, 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 I was opening the menu because I was wondering. Uh, <laughs> fucking hand. Okay. See, so, I don't wonder you got a comment, do you? You look rabid, pained, sick. You're spasming and twitching. You poor thing. <laughs> Uh, brewing within, I know. Uh, something of us brewing within, I know. I know what, some women, violent desire. 
I have almost no memory from before I awoke on the Nautiloid. Hmm. Well, so far, my tadpole and I have been nothing but best friends. Something else is happening to you, isn't it? You have bouts of swooning and swaying, and your jaw is grinding like you're poised to chew off your tongue. Hmm. <laughs> Do take care of yourself. <laughs> okay. But yeah, we're, we're gonna get talking with all of them, but not yet. Mm. It's a lot to, to do and a lot to see. We got some weird mushroom there. Yeah, we do have to gather another party member. So you so you know I did check on like what does Zoru was anyway. Right. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. What do you mean ugly? Dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Holy elf, under elf. Oh, and, the, and this is actually because I'm a drow, I think. Right? Uh, yeah, that's right. Plus five. <laughs> so, well, it's basically impossible to fail this, isn't it? Literally. Demaze. Come, Naimessa. Now. Enough gawking! Get me down! Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> How's my... How's my... Uh, crossbow? Okay. Couple of this then. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. And what exactly is a crack? How did she pronounce it? I forgot already. It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. Yeah. We journey together, let's go. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Shall I have this approved? Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Tension. There you go. Lay cell. Um. And here, what we're gonna do next is save, because this is the end of episode one. I really, really appreciate that you made it this far into the video. I'm really excited about this series. I am committed to finish it. You know, it's a it's a weird thing. Uh, it's a weird thing to do for me. I don't really tend to finish things but this is something i really want to do and i know that i'm gonna enjoy a lot and yeah just really really appreciate that you made it this far and i'll see you in the next one stay safe